Hey guys, it's Bob and I like to make stuff. Today I'm going to show you how to make a spiral vase out of plywood. I spray painted one side of a scrap of half inch plywood and after it dried I ran over it with a sander. The paint raises the grain and just wanted to smooth it out. After it was smoothed out I went over with a second coat of paint just to make sure I got good coverage. I trimmed off the outside because I want the edges of this wood not to have any paint on them at all. Then I set the fence to two and a half inches and cut two strips of the wood. Keeping the fence in the same place, I pushed the wood through so I ended up with a whole bunch of two and a half inch square blocks. A whole bunch of them. Then using a scrap of 2x8 and some scrap MDF, I made a place where I can set the pieces of wood so that they're always in the same place for drilling. Using a Forstner bit, I made some finger holes on each side just so I could get the pieces of wood in and out easily. Then I marked corner to corner to find the center of the piece of wood. Using that center point, I positioned the jig on the drill press using a 1 and 3 quarters inch Forstner bit so that I could cut the hole in the same place on all the different pieces of wood. This takes a little time because there's a lot of wood, but I'll only show you one. Next I started nailing the pieces of wood together. I did this upside down so that you wouldn't actually see any of the nails. I used one inch brads and used a screwdriver bit as a spacer to make sure that they were all rotated the same amount. The final piece doesn't have a hole in it. It's the bottom of the vase and it gets nailed on with four nails just to hold it in place really well. I went over with a couple of coats of a glossy clear coat just to make it look a little bit nicer. Drop in the vase that I got at Michael's for about two dollars and there you go. So there's not a whole lot to that. Uh, the hardest part is definitely cutting the holes in the center of the plywood but once you have the jig it's really just time. It's not difficult to do. Um, now another thing you could do and I've done for a friend of mine is I made one that was about this tall to use as a pen holder just didn't put the glass on the inside. Um, so you could use that you know, to hold pens on your desk, uh, stuff on the counter, whatever, but um, the same principle applies, it's just shorter. Likewise, you could do something wider to hold a bigger vase, you could do something taller to hold a taller one, whatever, but um, you just have to cut enough pieces of wood to fit. Now, another thing I wanted to show you is that I have some t-shirts I just got made, and they're pretty awesome. Um, I'll have a link for these in the description. And uh, if you buy these, these help me out and give me some, some extra cash to buy supplies for the wood and buy tools and things like that. Um, you guys have been awesomely supportive lately and I really appreciate it. Uh, another way you can support is to share this and to share all the blog posts and everything um, on Facebook and Twitter. And there's links to the Facebook and all that stuff here. There's a subscribe link and I'd really love it if you'd subscribe to the channel so you can see some more stuff. I have some really awesome projects coming soon that I'm really excited about showing you guys. Uh, so thanks for watching again, and uh, talk to you guys soon.